Hello, welcome back. <coughs> welcome back and good morning. It's a Thursday today. Day after Monday. No, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday today. I always mix up Tuesday and Thursday. But let's uh, continue. I just got up my bed. Let's uh, continue, try to do a lot of this the whole day. About this old Mercedes. I like to continue with a Mercedes W110, but I defined this 191, 105, 180, and then two engines. And even an uh, older one. No, I think that's wrong one. That's the one we need there. Not this one yet, we need this one, the W15. We have done this before. But now my uh, playlist is so weird. No, we have to do uh, this one first, the W15 there. Because my playlist is so crazy now. And I can barely, I cannot find there so many notes all, all over. So, but let's do that. And, but I have a tennis video I need to public. Put my camcorder down. This will not take long time, this one. The microphone level is 56. That's only uh, three pages. Read activate voice. Read to end of documents. Mercedes Benz W15. Mercedes Benz 170MHV MBW15 170 to 61931 crop jpg. Mercedes Benz 170 1931 overview manufacturer Mercedes Benz so called Mercedes Benz TYP E 170 Mercedes Benz W15 production 1931 1936131775 units assembly Gemini Stuttgart body and chassis glass mid size car layout for layout power train engine 1,692 ccm 15 i6 dimensions wheelbase 2,600 mm 100 in length 3,940 mm 155 in width 1,630 mm 64 in height 1,650 mm 65 in Chronology successor Mercedes-Benz W136 The Mercedes-Benz W15 is an automobile produced by Mercedes-Benz from 1931 to 1936. Regarded today as a mid-size family car, it was given the chassis designation W15 and sold as the TYP 170 in four-door limousine, sedan forward slash saloon and cabriolet forms dot one by 1934 differently configured cabriolets a sports roadster and a cube elway gen military light utility vehicle were added to what had become for mercedes a new azulia wide model range dot the typ 170 made its debut at the paris motor show in october 1931 where it was seen as the most important new model introduced that year it was also the most significant creation of Hans Nibel, the manufacturer's shy profile technical director who had taken over the position from Ferdinand Porsche at the start of 1929. 2. Though the TYP 170 was discontinued in 1936 with the introduction of its successor W136 170, a few sales continued through the first few months of 1937. Contents A smaller Mercedes Benz. Chassis. Engine. Body options. Light van. Commercial. Sources and further reading. A smaller Mercedes Benz. With the economy still reeling from the successive aftershocks that followed the Wall Street crash, 
Hans Nivel, the manufacturer's technical director, conceived of the 170 Acer compact lightweight car. Mercedes-Benz had by then become known as a manufacturer of large e-pensive cars that tended to grow larger and less affordable with each upgrade. The 170 of 1931 represented a conscious strategy of broadening the range down market, a pattern that would be repeated with the 190 in 1982 and A-Class in 1996. <laughs> Sorry. The 170 in their chassis form as delivered to a coach builder or the body shop, weighed 750 kilograms, 1,653 pound, dot with a conventional coupe or sedan forward slash saloon body added. The car weighed between 1,050 kilograms, 2,315 pound, and 1,200 kilogram, 2,646 pound with a laden weight of around 1,455 kilograms, 3,208 pound, dot, one, chassis. The 170 was the first Mercedes with all-round independent suspension. There was no full-width axle at the front, the wheels being suspended from two transverse leaf springs. At the back there were two half-swing axles, the suspension layout, which minimized unsprung mass and provided a high level of stability, was subsequently introduced across the entire Mercedes-Benz range, giving the cars a quality of comfort and safety that competitors using the then common combination of rigid axles and leaf springing could not match. Dot. 3. The brakes, controlled via oil pressure, operated on all four wheels. An ignition steering lock was an anti-theft device which was incorporated as a standard feature. Although both the innovative suspension and the compact chassis might have been seen as a gamble in 1931, their dependability and quality were reflected in the fact that they continued unchanged throughout the car's production run. Two engine. The car was powered by a six-cylinder 1,692cc engine sat Smiley 4. Maximum power was set at 23.5 kW, 32 PS, 32 HP, at 3,200 RPM. The engine featured central lubrication and the water-based cooling system for the engine employed both a pump and a thermostat. Power was transmitted to the rear wheels via what was in effect a four-speed manual transmission, on which the top gear operated as a form of overdrive. Third gear used the 1-1 ratio conventionally used by a top gear, and there was a fourth gear with a ratio of 1.0.73. Fuel economy was quoted as 11 liters per 100 kilometers, 26 miles per gallon imp, 21 miles per gallon us and top speed 90 km forward slash h, 56 miles per hour, which combined to represent a competitive level of performance in the passenger car market off that time. Body options. At its 1931 launch the car was offered in bare chassis form, for customers wishing to purchase a car body from a coach builder, at a manufacturer's recommended price of 3,800 marks, a four-door limousine, sedan forward slash saloon for 4,400 mark or as a cabriolet for 5,575 marks dot one subsequently differently configured cabriolets a sports roadster and for military use a cubel wage end were added to what was by 1934 a new Azulia wide range of standard body types offered dot initially large luggage would need to be fastened to a rack on the outside of the car at the back. In 1934 the bodies for the two mainstays of the range, the four-door sedan forward slash saloon and the cabriolet AC, received numerous streamlined bodies and sloping tails which incorporated an internal luggage compartment. 1934 also saw for the first time a two-door limousine, sedan forward slash saloon, closely resembling the four-door equivalent. 
the raw streamlined bodies of the 170 saloon in 1934 suggested the form of the next generation of 170. The Mercedes-Benz W136 introduced in 1936. Its 2,845 mm, 112.0 in, wheelbase carried the new look off better than the shorter 2,600 mm, 100 in, wheelbase of the W15170.2 <coughs> light van. At the start of 1932 the Mercedes-Benz Casten Wagen, light van, TYPL 300 joined the range. It shared the mechanical underpinnings of the 170 and could carry a load weighing up to 300 kilograms, hence the name dot commercial. In a period of economic crisis and shrinking incomes, the 170 and its van derivative enabled Daimler-Benz AG, a company hitherto known only for big expensive cars, to survive. The modern independent suspension layout and hydraulic brakes provided a comfortable and safe driving experience. Between 1931 and 1936 the firm produced 13,775 of the cars. <coughs> The highest annual production total of 4,438 ways achieved in 1932, early in the car's career, suggesting the Mercedes had correctly understood the German auto market within which at this time virtually the entire production was sold. 1932 was a particularly prior, so that the 170s sales in that year represented more than 10% of Germany's passenger car sales. Thereafter the German auto market bounced back strongly, as employment recovered, other manufacturers attracted customers with smaller lighter cars and the government, in 1933, abolished annual car tax. So that 3,030 cars produced during 1935 which was the W15-170S last full year of production represented a market share of less than 2%.2, 2. the 170 continued to be offered until 1936 when it was replaced by the four-cylinder 170V. It also provided much of the chassis architecture for more powerful subsequent models such as the 200 model of 1933 and its successors. Sources and further reading. 1 Oswald, page 239. 2 Oswald, Werner, Deutsche Autos 1920 1945, volume 2, p 238. 3 Oswald, P238 and 239. For the actual CC was 1,692 CC but the Steuer CC, tax engine size, was 1,680 CC. Annual car tax in Germany was charged between 1928 and 1933 according to engine size but, presumably in order to simplify their calculations, the German finance office applied roundings in deriving the engine size from the cylinder dimensions with the result that taxi... Yes, that was last edit, 16 by. Yes, sorry, I was sneezing, but this is how I feel it. Sometimes on my eyes are running and I'm, my nose is full. So I have it like that, like every day. But let's just continue, I have to continue my life, uh, even uh, my body is like that. But there was mention, <coughs> mention another model, I have to read or download. This W, uh, <coughs> W30. But I'm getting more and more numbers, more and more, more and more and more. So this is why uh, I have 20 papers. I have to, uh, I have to, to work like this, like a robot. Yes, sorry, I just got up in the morning and I, I'm not feeling well in the morning because I'm not sleep enough. I need some hours to, to wake up. 
<coughs> and some days I not really wake up. Yes, but let's delete it. No, we have to uh, this one. The other one, Mercedes Benz. But I have to continue down there. I cannot still uh, keep riding so small loads. I have to put it down to here. I need some space to ride. And it's not MB. I have to ride Mercedes Benz. I'm not going to ride MB uh, W something. It is a Mercedes Benz. No, so next one is uh, this one, and then I read this one, then it mention another model, then it getting bigger and bigger, 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 and this is why I never, I never get finished with it because I always mention something else, and then I have to do this, then I have to go back to there and there, and have go back to there. That's the Mercedes Benz E class, but they keep mention uh, more and more new world models, so this is why. This is why I, it's so confusing. I never get finished with this. Now the paper drops on the floor. But I will uh, upload this. I need some minute for myself to sit do this. And I need to close my doors and windows. Because and I need more to drink. And I have to, close, I have to uh, clean my nose. My nose is running. <coughs> of course, I've just been sneezing, but I don't need to record that on video. But this is how my life is.